Hello everybody, I'm Caden. I'm Lindsay. And we are Adventures of the Stormtrooper and today we are super excited. We are at the Green Bay Gamblers game and it is Star Wars night. Which it, Green Bay Gamblers is our local kind of, it's a hockey team. Or they are, or it's a, they are a hockey team and they are tier one junior ice hockey team that play for the Eastern Conference of the USHL. And yes, I did have to look that up because I didn't know that. I would have just called them a minor league hockey team, which I've been told is wrong. So I didn't want to screw that up. These are all high school unpaid athletes. And then their hope is to move on to an NCAA team, which are many of um, there are several players that have signed with um, colleges. And then actually we've had some go on to the NHL. So that's. That's good. I was making sure I was getting my acronyms right because I'm not great with the acronyms. I didn't tell. There you go. Uh, so we're very excited today. Uh, we've done. This is a, a troop that our local uh, squad does all the time because we are here in Green Bay. So this is a local thing for us, which is really nice. We only had to travel 10 minutes, which is not normal for us. We usually have to travel a couple of hours for troops. So we are excited. It should be great. Come along on our Star Wars night adventure. Pew pew! Pew pew! Pew pew! Well, we made it to the Rush Center, which is next door to the Rush Center Expo Center. And then right across the street is the Packers um, training practice field. And the Rush Center is that white domed building. And it holds all of our, like, kind of local sporting events. It's like a multi use space. No one team has it, but the gamblers use it during hockey season. It's also used for state football, or state football, state basketball, Jesus, I'm so sorry. And what's interesting about um, that process, and this is where we're parking today here, and it's called the Blue Parking Lot, which no one's here, so we can just go right in. That's great. But we do have parking passes that the gamblers have provided for us, which is very nice. Um... But the, what's interesting during hockey season is they actually put the, um, the court over the top of the ice. And then we've watched them take the court down and put it back up and put the boards back up and around um, the, the rink again. And it, uh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I have a loss of words today. Uh, I got called in last night, so my uh, my brain is completely shot. I've been up since 1 a.m., so it's been, it's been a long day. Uh, sorry, that's not a good excuse, but it's been a long day. But I used to be the Green Bay Gamblers mascot for a year and a half, so I was Ace, their mascot, and hopefully we'll see them. I'm a little bitter that I'm not their mascot anymore, so you won't probably see me do anything with them unless he initiates it. I know it's petty and it's a little wrong, but they, they took an intern over me. It's, it's rude. I had a lot of fun doing it. It was a really great, fun job. And I'm just mad because I, I want, still want that job. <laughs> Is the real reason. I even offered to do it for free and they still said no. So I, just, I thought that was weird, but whatever. More power to them. Uh, so we're going to... We're waiting for the rest of our group, and we're going to give them their parking passes, and then we'll go in, and then uh, change, and it's Star Wars night, so we're going to do Star Wars-y things in the lobby. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we're going to be in the front area, in the lobby area, and it'll be great. Um, we're just meeting and greeting beforehand. Um, we're not doing anything during the game. The gamblers don't want us to. They're putting more emphasis on they have a mental health night tonight so they're putting more emphasis on that instead of the Star Wars night which I thought was interesting that they they chose to ask us and then kind of mm -hmm. ask us not to be a big part of it which is, it's a it's a change usually a, we're the main focus so it's a little it's a little different this year so we're gonna see how it goes so let's do this so we're changing in their cell con room which is kind of like their press room this is their press backdrop. This is a nice big room for us. There's only, there's 10 of us today, so a nice variety of people. And so we're going to get changed and we're going to get going. So and we're going right through those doors over there. Um, or like there, our changing area is not far from where we need to be. So it's 
Perfect. It's really nice. This is a nice big area. They got water for us. They always treat us right. So if you come to a gambler's game and you do will call, you just check in right here and they'll have your tickets. You can sign also your kids up also for their kids club. Um, if you have any questions about anything, this is also where you go. And then over here is like different raffles. It's also their 30th year of being a team. Um, they got different booths for everything. The gamblers also have a team store where you can buy all the different merchandise. You can get actually get game used pucks, game used uh, hockey sticks, and they also have a couple of Star Wars stuff. If I can find it, I'll show you. But they have like they have cowbells, of course. And then if you still need to buy tickets, they have the box office open usually until about seven-ish. And that's usually when the game starts. Here's the t-shirt that they designed just specifically for this game. So this, all that it is, is just this on the front. Not sure how much they are. There's no price tag anywhere, so you're good. But it's a cool shirt. A lot of our members went and got it before the doors opened to the fans. So this is Ace, uh, the gambler's mascot. Oh which was what kid it was. <laughs> On all of the posts in the rest center, they'll have a seating chart so that if you ever need help finding out where your section is, you can just go to one of these maps. They have them in the lobby, they have them on the first floor, the second floor, and then the suites have their own third floor. And I'll even tell you like where the restrooms are, the bars are, concession stands. The 50-50 raffle is going to be going towards Prevent Suicide Fox Cities. It's one of the local um, suicide preventions. Let's see what else we got Brown County Veterans Office and then the behavioral health and then of course some sort of internet booth You don't like it? No? What if your wife likes it? <laughs> okay, maybe I don't. Okay, okay. <laughs> Little touchy. <laughs> Chewy decided to go shopping. And now he's harassing the employees because they're wearing Vader. <laughs> Maybe next year they'll put you on your t their t-shirts. Yeah, next year. <laughs> so we are in the freight elevator, and he can actually go from toe to head without having to crouch. So that's a win today. <laughs> that's a first. So we got asked to help with something. We're not really sure what in the party pit. So we're just waiting till whenever they will need us. But so far, gamblers are winning two to zero. And it's only five minutes into the game.
We did it. We survived Star Wars night at the Gambler's Game, which just so happened to fall on $3 Bud Light night. We only made it through the second period before we had to call it quits just because the intoxication level was getting high. It was bad. It was, well, it's not, it's, I'm sure it's getting worse now. It's just when your costumes are really expensive, I, Chewie doesn't smell good in Bud Light. No, he's more of a gold squatter and lager kind of guy from Galaxy's Edge, and we're going to have to travel a long way to get that spilled on you, so... Yeah, if you know, you know for about two people that go to Olga's Cantina. Um, but we had a great night. Sorry, the, the, there wasn't much to film because it was just a lot of, I stood there, people came up to me, we took t tons of pictures, tons of pictures. And there's not too many people here tonight, but it, it felt like a lot of people because when we looked in the stands, there's not, it's not as full as my brain made it think it was. But uh, so far, I think the gamblers are tied with the Chicago Steel is who they're playing. So the gamblers game is always a good fun time, very family friendly. Uh, we have seen kids from two to like 80 today. And I, I love Everett seeing all the whole range of people getting excited to see the characters. It's just wonderful. We always love attending Star Wars nights because being with the, the fans that love the costumes that's the best feeling ever it was a lot of fun I had a lot, um, this is one of the best better best uh, gambler games that I've ever been to and I used to do ace for the gamblers the actual mascot and I, th I think I had more fun tonight as Chewbacca than I did as ace which is saying a lot because I really did enjoy that job so thanks for coming along on our Star Wars night adventure may the force be with you bye bye